So I'm sitting here, taking my bed apart. It's mostly apart. And I'm moving to Las Vegas and moving on to the next chapter of my life. And I figured as I was going through some of my stuff, I would take the time to talk about something that was very major and important in my life. A very big struggle that I had to go through that I know that plenty of other people across the world are going through. And I wanted to take the time to educate people and give people an idea of a glimpse of what I had to go through because one doctor decided, hey, here, let me prescribe you these benzos, the, in my case, clonopin, uh, because I was having some near fainting problems. Well, I'm here to give a rough idea, visual reference of what that first prescription will lead you into. And right here I have three bags. Most of them are either clonopin or Valium, and a couple of them might be some bottles from like where psychiatrists try to prescribe me like an antidepressant. I might have just tried it like a couple times and then decided not to take them. But And I didn't save all of them, but on top of bottles, I had a ridiculous amount of ER visits. I'm talking like, I don't know, 30 plus. And what my story is, in the summer of 2010, I rode my bicycle three and a half miles to Walmart one night to do some grocery shopping. I brought a large book bag with me, and I was in pretty good shape. I was used to riding my bicycle, and so it wasn't like it was a very far amount. I did my shopping around the store. When I got to the cashier, I went to pay, for, swipe my credit card to pay for my purchase, and all of a sudden I had this rush of impending doom, feel like I was going to pass out, and it freaked me. It sent me into a crazy terror, and it was my first ever near fainting episode and panic attack, and I started having more and more, and then finally a doctor referred me to a psychiatrist, and I was really wondering, like, why is this doctor referring me to a psychiatrist? Like, I don't have, like, a mental problem, I have a physical problem, I'm, like, it's like my blood pressure drops or something, and I feel like I'm going to pass out. But anyways, the psychiatrist said, I have this product called Clonopin that I can prescribe you, and it will help stop your near fainting episodes. It'll correct your blood pressure and all that blood circulation. And all it took was, boom, just one bottle the first time and it turned into a complete mess I ended up taking it as prescribed regularly for over a year maybe a year and a half and then it took another I might be miscalculating but after the time that I was prescribed normally I know for a fact that it took me one year and three months to taper off of it, I ended up having to switch from clonopin to Valium because I read that Valium was supposed to be easier to taper off of and cut the pills and it had a longer half-life but it ended up being a year and three months of complete withdrawal hell every side effect that you withdrawal effect that you could think of I was having other than like you know maybe extreme physical pain. I was having like neurological experiences. It's been a while. Is September 13th is when I, uh, September of 2013 is when I finally came off of benzos and you know I started in the 
summer, like late May or I'm trying to think, maybe July, August, September, one of those months in 2010. So it was really about three years that I was on them. But there you go. Just wanted to give people an idea that if you allow a doctor to prescribe you clonopin, clonazepam, Ativan, Lorazepam, same thing, Xanax or Valium, if you allow them to give you even one bottle and you start taking this stuff, you're going to get hooked. Oh, not that I was hooked in that way. I was taking them because I thought that I was supposed to be for my near fainting episodes and ended up getting extreme, not extreme, <laughs> I'm just trying to describe my experience. I ended up getting physical dependence just like anyone else would. Your brain starts to rely on this stuff to control your the GABA in your brain. And it got to the point where it, it was impossible to just cold turkey this stuff and to stop taking it after just more and more. Like you could say maybe, I don't know, this is just an example, like maybe this little pile is what I was supposed to be prescribed. Maybe like a third of the pile, and then the rest was like how long it took, how much more I had to take just to withdraw off of this stuff and taper off. It was crazy. It just lasted forever, a year and three months. And I ended up in the psych ward once for 12 days, but I didn't sleep, so it, it, it was more like a month since I wasn't sleeping. And I was lose, and that was like the worst experience of my life. I was losing my mind. They cut my dose by like eight, six or eight milligrams uh, on volume at once. When I was uh, had already kind of went nuts and tried to stop taking cold turkey for a few days. And like I was saying with these bands, I ended up in the ER before. Actually, this is uh, ever since it started. Even when I was on the stuff, I was ending up in the ER and on occasion. And during the tapering off, I literally went to the emergency room like 30 times. It was nuts. Like, I definitely did not save anywhere near all my emergency room bands. So, just one last glimpse of if you go to a doctor and you allow them to give you a benzodiazepine medication for any reason, this or even worse, it could go on for years and years of the rest of your life. This is going to be you, and is not going to be pretty. If you can figure out a way to get through your life without having to take benzos or ever start them, please do. And I hope that you can learn something from this message.